Page, registered nurse and director of digital health coaching at Ovia. Whether you're here with the goal to get pregnant or just to understand your fertility better, I am so happy to be able to share this introduction to fertility tracking with you. Let's get started. First things first, why would you want to track? The main reason to track is to identify your fertile window. This is the time when unprotected sex or other methods of introducing sperm might lead to conception. You can only get pregnant on the day of your ovulation, but sperm can live in the body for up to five days, which is why your fertile window is about five to six days long. Predicting your fertile window and pinpointing your ovulation can be a little tricky, especially if your cycle is irregular, which is why the Ovia app uses science-driven algorithms to make it easier to predict your ovulation. Sometimes it's hard to know what information is most important to track. And while you can track a range of fertility and general health information, for tracking beginners, I recommend starting with the following. Your period, cervical fluid, your BBT or basal body temperature, OPKs, which are called ovulation predictor kits, and then other health symptoms. First, your period. You'll want to consistently track the first day of your period each month. Another important data point to track is your cervical fluid. This is one of the most helpful pieces of information in your fertility journey. Your cervix connects your vagina to your uterus. It produces a natural fluid that changes throughout your cycle. At the beginning of your cycle, it's dry and thick. It becomes thin and stretchy as you approach ovulation. Learning how to track your cervical fluid might seem weird to some people at first. Lots of people feel uncomfortable, but most people do get used to it easily over time. To identify your cervical fluid consistency, you'll need to insert a clean finger into your vagina and observe the fluid you pick up by rubbing it between your fingers. Some people choose to just look at their underwear. To make it easier to track, Ovia uses simple categories like school glue, water, and egg whites. The most important characteristic to look out for is the egg white-like fluid. That's the one that indicates that you're approaching ovulation. BBT is your lowest body temperature in any given day, and it tends to dip slightly just prior to ovulation. It spikes sharply immediately afterwards. And if you become pregnant, that spike in temperature will remain steady or even rise. If you're going to get your period, you'll usually notice a drop in temperature on the first day of your period. The changes are really slight, but if you track consistently, you will notice the pattern over time. The changes in temperature are due to your body's fluctuating hormones. Logging the dip in temperature can help identify when ovulation is on the immediate horizon, and tracking the spike will help you zero in on your relative ovulation date from cycle to cycle. BBT is most accurately measured with an oral thermometer in the morning. You'll want a thermometer that has two decimal points, nothing fancy. Just take your temperature first thing in the morning as soon as you wake up. It's really easy to do, and once you get the hang of it, it just becomes a part of your normal morning routine. And by watching the spike in temperature, that's how I actually guessed that I was pregnant with all three of my babies before I was even able to take a pregnancy test. Ovulation tests are the next thing to talk about, and using OPKs can be really helpful to track. They identify the luteinizing hormone in your urine, also called LH. That's the hormone that signals your ovary to release an egg. You'll see a surge of LH in the 24 to 36 hours before ovulation. Using an OPK test can feel really, really validating when it mirrors the predictions that you're getting in the Ovia app. A side note for those of you with an irregular cycle, OPKs may not be the best indicator, and in that case, your BBT might be your best bet. Finally, tracking other health symptoms can also impact your Ovia health ovulation prediction. Moods, nutrition, activity, sleep, it all helps you understand trends that can impact your fertility. Maybe even more importantly, when you're in the habit of checking in with yourself daily to see how you're feeling, eating, being active, sleeping, you might identify new areas to prioritize that you hadn't even thought of before. And focusing on taking care of yourself will increase your chances of conceiving. Happy tracking! As you get started, when you have questions, browse through more videos from this series, head over to our article library, or search through all our Ovia Fertility features and tools.